Jose Luis Ruiz Arevalos was separated from his family and forced to stay in Mexico in 2019, when U.S. consulate officials denied him a green card. Under policy changes made by the Trump administration, they decided that he was likely to become a public charge dependent on government services because his U.S. citizen children had used food stamps and Medi-Cal. When Jose had to stay in Mexico, it derailed his kids' education and affected the choices they made for their futures. In 2021, the Biden administration reversed the Trump administration changes, and Jose applied again for his green card. This February, he was finally able to return to his home in California after almost four years away from his family. Ahora estamos muy contentos porque por fin mi esposo obtuvo la residencia. Acaba de llegar ayer. Mi hija tuvo que dejar de estudiar para hacer el papel que yo hacía. Eh, no ganaba mucho, pero con eso sacamos los gastos de los, de los estudios de nuestros hijos. Y a mi hija me la entroncaron. Elena dropped out of college after her freshman year, so she could work to help provide for her younger siblings. She also joined the Army Reserve. I completed basic. I just wait every like drill, so it's like one week in a month. I finished Merced College, I believe, last summer. What did you get your AA in? Communications. Ignacio was courted by prestigious universities like Harvard and Yale, but he chose to stay closer to home. I never considered it as an option, or Stanford, or any of those, but I kind of was thinking UC Merced, it's really close to family. I can kind of go back and forth. It's a UC. UCs are known for being prestigious. Jose missed four graduations while he was gone. Elena graduated from community college. Priscilla graduated from elementary school. Both Nathan and Ignacio graduated from high school. It just goes to show that you can really do anything if you put your mind to it and you work hard. You just need the right kind of encouragement. You need someone strong to teach you and motivate you. Nathan is finishing up community college now and hopes to transfer to UC Merced to study psychology or sociology. Nacho was in the positive side. Like He sees things so differently than I do. I know it affected me, and that's why I have to like keep going to therapy. His view, like, it always, like, astonishes me how people see the world and perceive it so differently. In a way, sometimes you do gotta lie to yourself because your body will listen. Uh, so that's how I stay so positive. And smiling helps, too, if you don't realize. Disculpeme, me siento todavía y contente de todo lo que pasó. Mi familia, mi esposa, batallando con dos niñas especiales me contaban los problemas yo no podía hacer nada y gracias a mi familia salí adelante todos los días me levantaba esperándolos crecer para hacer tiempo para estar con mi familia es más todavía no la creo que estoy aquí con ellos Ahora el, el abogado Ciudad Juárez le pidió que fuera un familiar. Entonces le pidió a un primo si le podía ser el patrocinador. You know, it was an honor for me to, you know, to be of help for him in this way and, you know, bring the family together. I receive all the documents and uh, I fill up all the documents and basically you are economically responsible for the, for the person. Right, so if for some reason he can't support himself, that responsibility comes to me. Jose is the older three kids' stepdad, but he's helped raise them for 14 years, since they were eight, six, and five. It happened already once where they just denied it. So I was like, oh, well, there's more probability of it not happening. I saw his little head by the bus window, and I was like, oh, that is him, okay. <laughs> he's really here. <laughs> And then we all just started like crying. I didn't cry, I don't know why. I was just very shocked. So, but I took the hug. Like, I was like, nah, man, I took the first hug and the second and the third. Literally the day that he got his visa, I had a dream where he got his visa. And I, was, I woke up crying 
because I have that dream. It's great that he's back. I still, it doesn't feel, I don't know how to express the emotions because it's just something you can't really like believe because it's been four years. We, we don't have a real dad either, so having him missing from family just kind of took that father figure out of her life once again. I guess I already got my dream. <laughs> it already got completed. Um, right now, I will end up going back to school, like, but once I know, like, for a fact what I want to study, I like making, like, arts and crafts kind of thing to not stress out as much. And then... I don't usually keep them, I just give them to like my family kind of thing. Or sell them. ¿Cómo pudo emigración quitarme de mis hijos? Yo hubiera preferido que me hubieran dicho, ¿sabes qué? 20 años no te vamos a dar visa, no te vamos a dar nada, pero que me hubieran dejado con mi familia. Ese era el punto. Mi familia, para mí todo es mi familia. Todo, todo para mí y mi familia.